the camera quality should be better. And if it is, then it's worked. It's for you guys. Um, not that we've got a million subscribers, but we've got a few more. <laughs> so we want to, you know, keep going, upgrade as we go. So I'm going to talk about the off-white tote Talked bag. I don't know if it has like an official title. I, just, I might have some tags still in this. I do still oh, wow. have the tags in this one. I mean, there's 27 of them. So this Could is the well. new commercial tote, yellow and black, off-white, one size. So that's his official name, commercial tote maybe. Yep. They did, they've done loads and loads of different colours of these. The only way I can describe it, and the best way I can describe it, is a off-white IKEA bag. Literally, I was going to say it's that. It's the same material. It's like coated plastic. Like twine. Weave. Yeah. It's really, you know. What do you, if you rough it, it sounds like an IKEA bag. First things first. Eat your brains. Yeah, go on. Anyway, the, I love IKEA bags. I have like 27 million of them for work work and keeping storage and stuff like that. So the actual concept of an IKEA bag, although it sounds weird, the concept of the structure of an IKEA bag and the strength and the strength of it is actually in, in, very clever. So when someone said to you off why I'd made one of those, what did you because even the straps, I haven't even thought about it, but even the straps, the double strap like an IKEA bag? I didn't rush out to get it. It wasn't like, oh, off oh, white drop these tote bags, I'm yeah. going for it. And to be honest, I didn't see them on a huge amount of people. We were um, going abroad on holiday before um, this stuff, lockdowns, uh, Corona. And I wanted a tote bag to take on the airplane. Yep. You've um, also doubled as a beach kind of bag and a yeah, pool bag. Yeah, we also had strength and you, I don't like putting like high end designer bags in the hold, etc. Yep. So it's a bag um, for your bags. So I went looking for one of these and Flannels had a, uh, they had a sale on and then they had an additional 20% off sale items. Yep. So uh, I think the retail needs were about 250. Right about that, 220. Yeah, 220. and so I got this one for 90. Yep. Which... And that was including pre-postage at the time as well. It was yeah. a massive deal, wasn't it? Which obviously is a huge amount off. Now, I got the yellow and uh, black version because obviously we, we go OG here. Uh, on reflection, I know I like the yellow. Um, I probably would have gone for black and white, something a bit subtler. Would you? Uh, on now, yeah. Yep. yeah. Um, I like having this, but if I was to buy an additional one, I would buy black and white. Okay, fair enough. Um, my favourite part of the reason I bought the the um, yellow and black is because of the handles. If you can see, can you see that? Yep, you can. Um, the handles are the OG off white belt. Kind of web strap, yeah. you know, um, material. Like seat, seat belt kind of, airplane seat belt kind of fabric. Sort of vibe, which I like. They're much thinner. Yes, than the see. belts. They're, can you see that? Yeah, of course. They're much thinner than a belt. Um, however, when I ordered it off the website, I expected it to be a bit thicker. Oh, well, you want, to be fair, you have one of the belts, so what you're yeah. saying is like a belt. Yeah. Um, I love the, the fact there's double handles. Like I said, like, that's like the IKEA bag. Yep. Um, I that. use a long handle if it's comfortably on the shoulder, but Austin likes a handheld. Yep. Correct. So if handles. I'm carrying it, I hold it there. Yeah. Um, and I like the excess drop. Yep. I think that's a nice feature. It happens again on the back. It's exactly the same. Yep. The back is obviously plain. Now, when this arrived, because I bought in the sales stuff for such a good price, I didn't choose at the time to exchange it. But when it arrived, it had. I think some of the ones it was see, that faulty. One. It had loss of print. So, just there. Loss of print there. Yeah. Yeah, got it? Yep. Um, it's not the end of the world, and for the price I paid, it's not the end of the world. However, when you're buying a new piece from a department store, Luxury. you expect it to be new. You're not faulty, at least. Now, so it bothered me. It did bother me a bit, but I was going to use it, so I just got over it. I didn't want to exchange it. They had no more pieces in stock. Yeah, I was going to say, if they had kind of loads and loads and loads of stock of this, yeah. um, I think maybe we would have probably thought twice, but because we didn't know we'd get another one, mm -hmm. and we'd just kind of gone back and never returned it, I think so, for £90 it was worth it, worth it still. So from usage, more of the X has come off. So this is the classic X logo as they still use now, yeah. white, but... Uh, you can't really see, but more of the logos come off. Yeah, there's off. kind of dots, and you can see. There's kind of there's kind of dots of it coming off. And that is just from gentle use. I used it on an airplane, but I didn't put it in the hole. It was under seat. Yeah. I would say um, there's a handful of times you've used this bag also. It's not been a heavy use yeah, of the bag. Yeah, 
do you know what it was a little bit disappointing i don't know if it's because of the, tr the screen print like transfer they use on top of the plastic material it I think just it doesn't to do with stick it. um but they produce a lot more in different slightly different materials and stuff so i would like to try another one i have a feeling this bag like you just said they've redone this bag slightly and i'm not saying it's the exact same one so don't put in the comments that oh no it's not the same but it's a very similar bag which they don't do in this fabric it's more it's a different kind of like yeah, you said yeah, yeah. and i feel like they might have done that because they had problems with these yeah so I I would be cautious if you're buying one on the resale market in this like plasticky um off white um Ikeary material. Um I would probably go for the more rubberized version Agreed. or the clear plastic version. Um however as a bag, obviously the size of the bag, you can see for reference the size, it's quite large. Yep. So I keep looking in the viewfinder to like see my placement. So if that looks weird. That's fine, then, that's fine. Um so it's it, it's size wise, practicality wise, it's fantastic. The transfer itself on the front, yep. Inside, it's just one large compartment with a large pocket, and then it's got a it's got a zip pocket, which fascinatingly enough, the transfers come off. So can you close up that a little bit more? So yeah, so here once again, it said main label in the kind of quotation marks, two thousand thirteen. This has all stayed um, off white, etc., etc. But this is gone, um, and once again. This is, I've used this technically twice, yeah. going and coming back. Yeah. Um, um, I'm, but I'm not dissing it because I really like the bag and I think the bag's a really nice, a I really think it's nice a thing. thing to have. I, I've got to say though, that's what the original tag is. All the original tags, that's how little I've used it. I haven't even taken the tags off yet. I, I would have to say, if we were to pay, I wouldn't have paid retail for this. No. I wouldn't have, I, and, and not sent it back. No. Um, I regret not sending it back, but then I don't think that it would have changed the situation. I think you would st it would have still been the same Agreed. bag. I don't think it was that bag, which was a problem. I think they would have all done that eventually. No, but that is, obviously I'm here to review the bag and tell you my opinion on it. Yeah. And that is a problem I've had with the bag. Now, I am not dissing the quality of Off-White. This is really like a uh, thing. Yeah, Off-White make, uh, make the most supreme quality items. Yep and streetwear at the moment. This bag I had a problem with, this bag. Not any of uh, Off-White's other projects and I would not, I would not um, judge the brand by this bag. Oh no, it's not, what you're saying is if you're gonna buy one of their thousand this pound bags, not that's, not compar that's not a comparable uh, bag to, to compare no. to all of them are terrible. However, that. would I buy it again in a different colorway? Yes. Oh, um, at the retail price though? Or I wouldn't, no. no. Outlet had black and white. Okay. In his bag at Bristol Village, a new off-white outlet store. See so I would the video. purchase from them, or I would. The best place to get to get these, I honestly believe, is flannels. Yep. So although flannels, obviously, for me, I don't have the best experience with flannels as a department store. They have a good selection of streetwear yep. and hype. Yep. Luxury, Hyper luxury yes. um, and yeah, they yeah. do good sales. So you, they, every now and then they do twenty percent off full retail, or, or they have a sale. And if you wait, if you can hold out and gamble, you can get an extra twenty percent off most sale items at the end of the sale. Which I actually um, think, it, it, to be honest, on, on, on pieces which from the, the actual company you'd never get that low is really good. Yeah. The only thing I would reconsider if you are looking at buying this bag is the IKEA, the IKEA style fabric. I would just. I would, if you're like set in this bag, but you're not like set on the color and you're open to options, I'd go for the more rubberized yep. or the canvasy um, fabric. I wouldn't go for this um, IKEA. I think the IKEA style fabric has caused the transfer to I agree. not stick. No matter what kind of rubberized paint they've used or not, as the case may be, on there, I just don't think. Um, I Behind just don't the think... handles as well, can you see that? Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. Where's touch? Um, I just don't think it, it, it's probably made for that material. Um, what I would say though, just looking at it, as a piece for under hundred pounds, as in what yeah, you paid, yeah, right? Yeah. I would say name another bag which would last. It might not. The black might come off. Yeah. The handles will stay there. Yeah. You won't find any tearing. It, it's, it's a heavy duty bag, so you could use that for a few years at that price yeah. and have a very high, what is a high end brand yeah, bag. I agree with that. For good money. And um, it's very practical as well. I know that's such a mum thing to say. No, it, just, it is though. Um, and it looks good. I think it looks rad. I mean, I can only see what I can see in the viewfinder, but it's like it looks like bold. It looks. 
you know, than this. I, I might actually do, I, I, every now and then I do my Instagram post, I might do an Instagram outfit post with this uh, as yeah. a tote, because once again, it, it's, it, it's, not, it's, not a, it's not a ladies bag, it's not a men's no, bag. No, it's unisex. You know? If you want to see that, you can um, follow Austin on Instagram. He does men's styling at Austin Aubrey, A-U-B-R-E-Y. Um, I haven't got any styling pictures of it, sorry guys. Not the um, moment. <laughs> no, 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 thank you. That was very cheery. Um, but um, I just wanted to give a quick review on it because I had a little bit of trouble with it. However, it doesn't reflect on the brand or what Mr. Agreed. Zoe does. Like you said, we own a few other white pieces and they've it's all been absolutely amazing. As well, if anyone wants to, like in terms of floor use, yep, it pretty much stays on its own. I, I think, I, th I, I think, I think what I said earlier, I think, is, is, is kind of quite factual that this bag will last forever as long as you don't mind somewhere on that X. Yeah. I think it would last forever. Yeah. For that money, I think that nowadays, from a brand like that, I think that's a really good price. And even at the, the original retail, I'm not sure we, we, we would have bought it knowing that. However, if you think of the longevity, a lot of these luxury pieces, which are kind of what I call flash in the pan styles, yeah. they will last in the same way. Also, thumbs up if you enjoy the new quality, because I'd like to know people's opinions. If you, if you can see the difference, just say yes or in the comments, or no, or um, same, or... Because, yeah, it's new. Yeah. So off white tote. Um, um, this isn't for sale. It's from the personal collection. Um, we have a luxury resale shop in Shepton Mount at Somerset. So if you wanted to visit us there, it's www.bsluxurylifestyle. We're currently closed due to the UK national lockdown. Um, but we will be open soon. We do bag reviews daily. Um, we do accessory reviews daily, and we do our own personal collection daily so if you want to view any of the other videos yep. then you can visit our little page on youtube or how subscribe many, how many videos do we have now just out of curiosity um i think we're hitting 80 okay that's and not we've bad. only been um youtubing <laughs> for a month about, yeah about six weeks maybe. so we yeah. put up a lot of content and Two or three a day. if you subscribe you can then pick and through pick and choose through what suits yeah. you what you own what you want to see you don't have to view every video obviously not everything's for everyone you might not be like, like balenciaga but you like mulberry and it, it is you know. and if there's nothing you want to see comment what you'd like to see because we have a lot we have a vast collection across the board side note do you know what i just noticed just before i go go on hashtag matching you, you seem to match the whole time 